viewing the steamboat going up the Missouri River on which Governor Jackson was aboard in war times by S. C. Turnbow. One day in the month of August, 1906, I had the pleasant conversation with Mr. M. O. or Miles McClellan, who lives in the Indian Territory in the Creek Nation. Now, Mr. McClellan informed me that he is the son of Dr. Nichols McClellan and was born at Nashville in Boone County, Missouri in 1850. In given the recollections of his boyhood days in the Civil War times, Mr. McClellan said that his parents were living in the town of Claysville when the war turned its fiery darts loose. Now, Claysville is on the north bank of the Missouri River just over the line in Callaway County. Now, that's near the division line between it and Boone County. Now, Mr. McClellan said, One evening just before sundown, when I was 11 years old, we saw a steamboat coming up the river with a full head of steam on. Now, the bow of the boat was fairly plowing through the water, and we did not know what the boat was about until it seemed up the opposite side of town and we read the name white cloud on the pilot house now we noticed there were a large number of people aboard the boat and we were at a loss to know the business of the steamer going up the river in such a rush but we learned in a few hours afterward that governor jackson and other state officials were aboard fleeing from jefferson city to boonville in cooper county and to reset up the state government there now on the second day after the white cloud passed us we observed another steamboat hove in sight and when it got near enough so we could better view it we saw that it was loaded with federal soldiers part of which were cavalry. Now the boat landed at our town of Claysville, but just before the bow of the boat reached the landing, my father put his double barrel shotgun in a thick growth of dog fennel between the house and the barn. Then he mounted his horse and rode out of town. Now after the boat had landed, we were told that the soldiers were a detachment sent in pursuit of the governor and other state officials. The soldiers came ashore, and when they came into town, some of them said that they saw a man hiding a gun in the weeds, but they did not know who the man was, nor could they find the gun. The officer in charge of the troops had part of the horses taken off of the boat, and a small squad of cavalry was sent into the country to pick up southern men if they could find any, and in the roundup they captured my father but seeing that he was a doctor they released him while the soldiers occupied the town i went to the spring for a bucket of water the spring ran out of a bluff about a hundred and fifty yards below the town and and as i went back to the house with my bucket of water the soldiers kept asking me for water and i gave it to them until the bucket full was exhausted and i returned to the spring and refilled my bucket and started back again Before I reached the house, the thirsty soldiers drank it all up again, and I went back for another bucketful, and succeeded in getting to the house before the bucket was entirely empty. Now, I relate this small incident because I was a child at the time of this occurrence, and I remember it so well. Soon after this, the fight of Boonville went off. Now, I have told you said Mr. McClellan, that I was born in Nashville in Boone County, and this town is no more now, for it was washed entirely away by the Missouri River by cutting the land away to the bluff and destroyed the town. There was one house standing there in 1866, and this one has been gone for many years.'